Okay, so we have our cars all doing the right things. We have our frog doing the right things so far. And now what we want to do is we want to create some kind of a way to know when we've finished a level. So in other words, the frog has reached the finish area. Now we could do this by sensing the red color in the finish area. Um, however, that sometimes is problematic when you get other red things like, for instance, red cars. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to create a new finish area over top of the one by creating a new sprite with paint, painting a new sprite. So in this, I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to choose a red rectangle, draw a nice sized red rectangle that's hopefully bigger. You might have to test this a couple of times to make sure you get it right. And then I'm going to type in the word finish. Once I've done that, I should now fairly quickly be able to see, did it, is it going to fit? And I think it is. Yes, that will fit for our purposes right now. It's completely covered up the one underneath it. And then I'm just going to call this finish area. So now down here, it should say finish area or something close to that. And now we can go back to our frog script and figure out where we're going to put in the sensing in our frog script. So at the very beginning, this is the beginning of the program. It only runs one time, so that wouldn't be right. Inside this, if you are dead equals one, well, that's all the things that happen if it's dead. So really, we should not make the game so that you can finish the level while you're dead. That just doesn't make any sense, at least in our gaming world. So we have to stick inside this else area because only things in this else area happen when the frog is alive. So we've got key up, key down, key right, key left. You can have those in any order that you want. But now what we need to do is we need to go get another if and put that at the very bottom so that now we've got five ifs all perfectly lined up straight down in a row, just like that. Okay. And so now we're going to sense if we are touching the finish area. And if we're touching the finish area, then we should do the digital equivalent of some kind of a victory dance. In this case, uh, well, let's see. When we died, we played a sound. Well, I think playing a sound would be appropriate again. Uh, we said something, so like, ah, except this time we should say good job or congratulations or something like that. Uh, we glide back to the starting position. Well, you know, you actually want to glide back to the starting position anyhow because you do have to start the next level. And setting you are dead to zero, you know what? That's a good thing that you should probably also include as well because sometimes on the glide back, the cars don't know that the game is over. So they either may still be moving or may still be sending out signals like the frog is touching me, so send the message that you are dead. So we should probably again set you are dead to zero down at the bottom there and make sure that the frog knows that it's alive and even after gliding over top of killer cars, it's still alive. So go ahead, do that, and we'll see you in the next video.